row, Kyle. Mayor Connie Ball. Here. Vice Mayor Bill Costner. Here. Alderman John Bug. Here. Alderman Freddie Gray. Here. Alderwoman Kathy Polk. Here. Alderman Kenny Morgan. Here. City Attorney Perry Hurst. Here. City Administrator James Fincher. Here. Thank you. Item three is approval of the minutes. Uh, the meeting July the 8th, 2014. Do we have a motion to approve as written? I'll make a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion, changes, or additions? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposes no. I hear none. Item four, uh, employee of the month recognition. Call on Tim Dockery. Okay, this employee has been battle tested from the first day on the job, October the 1st, 2013. He had to hit the floor running. His first assignment was to organize, plan, conduct youth recreational basketball. His second assignment was to create a concussion policy for the city of Newport and its Parks and Recreation Department. The state of Tennessee required that this, con this concussion policy be in place by January 2014. <clears throat> then we moved right into Smoky Mountain Little League Baseball. Since the first day, he has implemented a coaches recruiting program, certifications for concussion training for youth and adult sports, certifications for National Youth Coaching Association, certified background checks for all volunteers, provided training for umpires and referees, provided staff training for official scorekeeping, concession, workers, and gate holders. Seven months on the job, again, this employee was tested. The city hosted the Little League District 4 Intermediate 13 and Under District Tournament and State Tournament. Mayor Ball threw out the first pitch. This is what I estimate the four-day tournament dollar impact of the state tournament for the city of Newport. We created 12 jobs at the tournament ball field for $2,268. 1,500 a night for the host hotel, which is $8,000. $400 a night at the local restaurants at $1,600 for a total of $11,000 for a four-day tournament. Parks and Recreation Employee of the Month is Brandon Norton. Brandon, please come forward. pitch that I threw was a sinker. Yeah. <laughs> the catcher couldn't handle it, it was a hot. <laughs> a lot of truth to that. Yes. <laughs> Item five, uh, five correspondence from interim city administrator James Finch. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I only got a couple of things that's uh, good news, bad news kind of a, a deal. Uh, on the good news, if everybody hadn't noticed up at uh, the cave-in at the between KFC and McDonald's last week, the state finally got up there and got that fixed. Uh, 
you know, they, they wanted us to pay for that, but we, we kind of stood firm on that, and so the state finally agreed and come in, and that is fixed, and it looks much better. I wish they'd got it a little quicker, but that was just the process we had to go through to get them to pay for it, as opposed to us paying for it. Uh, on the bad news side, uh, once again, um, end a little bit of a debate with Johnson Controls over the phones. Um, what they contend is that we have added an, uh, 10 phones from the original agreement. And I'm asking them to send me a copy of that, the, pr the prior agreement, the, the original agreement, and how that, that changed. What we did was they asked that we confirm their numbers before they started on the installation of the phones. And when we went through, when Rocky went through and counted phones, he came up with 10 more phones than what they had in their original count. Now, four of those are the animal shelter. For whatever reason, we've spoken about this in the past, uh, the animal shelter was left out of that entire project. And that was, uh, according to Johnson Controls, again, I'm repeating myself, just for the record, uh, that was at the, the request of, of Mr. Collins, that the animal shelter be left out. This is the only thing that the animal shelter is getting in this uh, upgrade, is the phone system. And of course, the phone system is integrated, and they have to be included in the phone system. There's no way just to leave them out. Like you could, but it kind of defeats the purpose of what you're trying to accomplish. So four of those phones are... Uh, legitimately new phones that were not in the original assessment. But the other six, I'm trying to determine where they come from. And like I say, I did, he just hit me with this this morning. Frank did from Johnson Controls. He and I meet weekly on this to try to keep down you know, disagreements and controversy. But the day he hit me with this. Uh, if we end up having to pay for all ten phones, the phones are like for the phone and installation, it's six, like $659 a piece. And there's 10 phones, so you can do the math. It's right at you know $6,600. So what I'd like is, there's definitely gonna be at least four because the animal shelter was left out of the original assessment. So what I'd like is your permission to use uh, the un, uh, the un, appropriated part of the borrowed money we had originally that we've been using for upgrades that we paid the 300000 out of. We still got $89,000 in there. And, the, and it was borrowed for upgrades and we used the 300000 to pay our portion of the, the upfront money for the Johnson Controls project. So what I would like is your permission to draw down whatever's needed up to 6593 if we have to pay for all 10. I'm hoping to get out of some of those others because if they if they just missed them then again we're right back to that same original argument they came through they did their assessment and if their assessment come up short it's on them but if we've added phones then it's on us and the four i know we added because of the animal show the other six i've still got to determine where they came from and then whatever department they came from i'm gonna go to that department and ask how you know how this come about out of that eighty-nine thousand, is that counting the money we appropriated? No, this is totally no, sir. For, uh, no, sir. This is totally un. This is totally inappropriate. No, that does not count. Eighty-nine is that you've taken that out? Yes. Right? Okay. That's well, is eighty-nine left after that? Yes. But I'm I, you know, the four, the four out of the, the animal shelter, right? You know, that's on us because for whatever reason, if they, if what they say is true. Uh, Mr. Collins told them to leave those out, and of course we decided to put those back in. So that's on us. We did, you know, for doing that. But the other six, the six other new ones, I'll, I'm going to crack down where they came from, and I'm going to try to eliminate them if I can. It just depends on did we miscount or did they? If we miscounted, it's on us. But if they miscounted, it's on them. And now Frank, uh, Frank and I are in agreement on that. So. I've got to, now I've got to track down where they came from once he gets me the list of the additional phones. If council wants to take action on that, I would suggest we vote to suspend the rules and add that to the agenda since we are spending money. And then uh, council can uh, make a motion as far as what they want to do with that request. 
normally I would, uh, you know, because we've talked about this, we talked about this last month when the 911 contract came up. Uh, normally from here on, I'm not going to try to hit you with anything that requires appropriating money during my report. And the reason I did this is because I got it this morning and he, need, he said it's going to hold up the whole project if we wait till next month to approve it. So that's the reason I didn't just have him, we just have to wait and put it on the agenda next month because it, it scotches. They're ready to move forward and this would hold it up a month. So that's why I went ahead and brought it up tonight as opposed to holding it till next month. This, this does affect to the deal with charter? I don't. I don't think so. No. It won't affect the cost. So we can do both of us. So we got a motion to suspend. If there is a motion to suspend, let's add another one to it that was later added to the agenda on item 10B where we're going to have to suspend the rules again uh, to add the bids for towing and storage to vehicle seized by the police department. So if somebody wants to make that motion, let's have both of them in there, and then we can just vote on that when we get we to that both, item. Can we suspend them both? Yes, the Terry said we could. we could. I'll make the motion to suspend the rules and add item 10B and the uh, 60, uh, 66, I don't think it would be the phones. Got a motion and a second. Okay. This is just to suspend the rules. Yeah, 65, 65, 93. This is just to vote to suspend the rules. Yes. Yes. We had a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Yes. Opposed is no. I hear none. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Now we've got to do the motion to approve it. We can, that do, was, we can do that now since that's yes. what we were discussing. We do you want 6600 or exact amount? Well, it's the exact amount. Up to that amount. I just want, yeah, well, it don't matter. Just up to that because it's going to be, I'm going to try to negotiate it down. I'm going to try to find a way out of it. It's, it's not on us. But that's the maximum, 65, nine, that's the number he gave me this morning was 65, 93. Is it? 66. 66. 66. I'll make the motion to the 6600 for the phone system for James' recognition. I'll say. Any discussion? Roll call, please. John Bowe? Yes. Kenny Morgan? Yes. Uh, Freddie Gregg? Yes. Kathy Holt? Yes. Bill Coffman? Yes. You got anything else? No, sir. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, item six. Uh, the library board has re uh, recommended that Alvin Watts be reappointed to the board and that Jeff Fancher uh, be appointed to the board in place of L.C. Gregg, whose term expired. So I'll grant that, Alvin. And under item seven, Tanner Preservation Alliance, Carlene's informed us that she has no report tonight. Under old business, uh, item 8A, consideration of ordinance 2014-05, the banners and signs across streets and alleys restricted. And Mayor, I'll read the caption of that ordinance into the record. It's ordinance number 2014-05, an ordinance of the city of Newport, Tennessee, banners and signs across streets and alleys restricted. This will be the second, second reading. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. I have a second. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear none. Uh, before I get to new business, let me just make a statement here. Uh, I've always tried to and will continue to try to run these meetings in a professional manner. And I also expect my council to act in a professional manner. I expect the audience to act in a professional manner. If uh, we, we've had several occurrences where discussion was going on with council, people would interrupt, blurt out, 
there will be a time where I'll allow you to do that, but we're going to operate this meeting decent and in order. I just want to set the record straight. Item A, uh, consideration of resolution 2014-09, acceptance on the proposal of the TDOT to construct a project US 2570 East Broadway. Uh, Mayor, that's this um, on where they're coming through town, doing the red lights. Uh, they've got the plans here now that show all the dimensions uh, for each intersection. They show you nine different angles and on all that, and they just wanted us to prove them moving forward with this plan and if they need to acquire any additional rights of way to, to make it happen. Do we have a motion? Yeah. Do we have a second? Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Yes. Opposed is no. I hear none. Item B is consideration of resolution 2014-10, supporting the display of the national motto in God We Trust on the Newport Municipal Building and in the City Council Chambers in a prominent location. And as I mentioned at the workshop, that is just a vote for council to accept doing that. Then we would have to look at some what the how we're going to get it put up. If there's going to be any expense, how much, or whatever, I'm just, I'm just wanting to vote, uh, support, confidence uh, uh, to go ahead with that. I'll make that motion. Have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Yes. Opposed is no. I hear none. Item C is consideration of emergency medical responder agreement. Second. I second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear none. Thank you, Council. You're welcome. Thank you. Consideration of 911 contracts. <coughs> Council, this is the contract that uh, we have updated with uh, E911. Uh, that uh, we had last month, but the council hadn't had an opportunity to review it. Uh, we incorporated all of the concerns that the city had with uh, the board up there into this contract, so it will be spelled out exactly what the city's responsibilities are. And uh, they uh, have indicated that they're fine with it. We need council's approval. Of course, it'll have to go in front of their board, too. But, we have a second. Yeah, Council, before not agree when these two retired that we have left, that uh, we were only to pay salary and not any benefits. Uh, I don't know. The contract that got approved originally, we can't even find a copy of it. The only thing we can find is in the minutes or that it was voted on. And the original discussion was that we would buy attrition go out to the dispatcher business we would contract with 911 for their services for dispatcher. For a basis. set amount. Yeah. 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 And I believe we had a set amount at one time. Right. 25000 or something. Well, and that, but that went, when it was passed, it was passed that actual cost incurred. And so we've been living under that ever since. And what you get into on that is they can just keep adding expense to it and billing you for it because you have, what we had agreed to do previously was to reimburse at actual cost incurred, and that, that's regardless of what it is. So we had to get, we had, that had to go. You're, you're right, Mr. Green. The first contract that I agreed to was $25,000 per employee, <coughs> and I wasn't present during that time in the council place. What Mr. Pinson said, uh, it changed in the wording to say all incurred expenses. That's what we got our overtime. Yeah, they start, They were. They were. Our bill last year jumped like thirty or forty percent. But above. this contract 
that's going to pay. Yeah, this gets us back in line because we nego yes, we negotiated this. These people retire whatever. We're going to pay this hourly rate. Yes, crazy. Plus yes. benefits. No. Well, no, they're paying the insurance. The benefits we're paying is just like it's the, they add in the fringe. When you call, I mean, you call the fringe like the, right, the, the you know, the, the income taxes, the Social Security taxes, those kinds of things. They're paying the insurance up there. We're not paying their insurance we're paying, bill. We're paying it now. Yeah. Okay. H says we'll, we'll be contracted by 911 and be reimbursed by the city of Newport under the terms above. If you go back in to this contract, it actually talks about the benefits. So we're going to go, if we approve this, then we're giving them those terms with the benefits. But the benefits we're talking about is the fringe, is the fringe not the not insurance. It's not an entire what I'm saying in the contract, it says under the terms above, and all the terms above is given the benefits that were given now. No, no. If you look at E here, it says all other benefits be paid by E911 Emergency of Cock County. And then yeah. above that, it only it only says exactly what the city's going to pay. They're ready to pay per hour up to a maximum of $13.80 per hour, mm -hmm. plus retirement and Social Security. That's the only thing we're going to be responsible for. Right. Retirement and Social Security. That's, um, so that's going to be above the $25,000. Well, we, the twenty-five thousand has never been in place. The twenty-five thousand is what we originally agreed to in the first negotiation, and never got put into the con. Never was approved. And that, that negotiation that I have, who didn't approve that twenty-five? Was it so the, the city council at the, that time approved the wording? That what happened was at the meeting, um, and. I'd throw anybody under the bus, but the assistant chief at that time was asked, is this what you all have agreed to? And he said yes. But he was not in the negotiations. You know, he did not negotiate the contract more easily. And so he, he really didn't know. In his defense, he really didn't know what, what it was. But, and so they approved it as written. But what was written was not $25,000 per person as Maurice had negotiated. What was written was the city shall reimburse at actual cost incurred. That was what the contract said. Do what? Yeah, it's been a long time. And so it was working fine till last year. Last year is when all these new charges gets added on. A bunch of overtime, uh, the overtime is what really beat us up, and of course the insurance was, was too, because their insurance is higher than ours, and so it, it just went. You know, it, it was a it was a budget buster. You know, the cost went through the roof. We went for six months. See, we're supposed to be billed by invoice monthly, and we went for six months and didn't receive an invoice. Then we received one big invoice, and man. And it had all this new stuff in it that had never been in it before. And that's when it came to a head. And that's when that's when I said, I'm not paying all this. But under the old contract, I couldn't get out of it because it said actual cost incurred. Theoretically, they could pay them $100 an hour and you got to reimburse them because that's what it says. There's no restrictions or limitations. It just says actual cost incurred. And that's just too broad, brother, as we found out the hard way. So is this a, you all agree with this up there too? Uh, that's what I would push for at the board meeting if we accept a great contract negotiation between this agent and the director. Is it a train that works in the second? We didn't have an option in the Any other discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. Uh, item E is consideration of charter contract. Charter cable contract. Mayor, this is the uh, 
to go along with the phone systems. The phone system that we're getting, the new integrated phone system, is internet based. Uh, it's going to save us quite a bit of money on our monthly phone bill. And uh, this is just where we have to go into a contract with Charter to provide that internet service for the phone system. Uh, Rocky spent a lot of time with him. He spent several hours negotiating with him, talking about what we needed, and, and he's he's very pleased with it. Uh, his expert, that's his expertise, is the, the technology end of it, and he talked about it's going to save us a lot of money. It's going to be a much better system. It'll do a lot more than we'll probably ever want it to do. But, It'll, it, it's a top of the line system. Does it change the budget? Uh, well, yeah, it'll, it'll lower it because we're going to pay less. You're going to pay less in the phone service. Well, the, you know, like 4000 annually, it'll be less in the phone and the cost of the phone service. Are these amounts guaranteed for the term? Yes. Charters against system. It's a very good system. We have a motion. I'll make it. Wait, wait. You want to go with the 60 month or the 36 month? We got a vote on that? Which one do you recommend? Uh, Tina said the 60 months is, is the better option because it increases the, the maximum amount of savings. I'll make my motion to say 60 months. Okay. We have a second? Second. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Ron Bear? Yes. Dean Morgan? Yes. Freddie Grant? Yes. Eddie Holt? Yes. Bill Yes. Okay, next item, item F, discussing the city administrator <coughs> charter change. Uh, Mayor, I prepared three potential, or at least two potential changes to the charter based on our workshop of last week. Uh, the first one would require the city administrator to reside within Cock County within 90 days of his or her appointment. That would be one possibility. Uh, another possibility would be to require the city administrator to reside within so many miles of City Hall uh, within 90 days of his or her appointment. And then, of course, the third one would be to have no residency required. Those would be three options. I'll make a motion for the number one. Which means they could live anywhere in the county. In the county, as long as they're in our county. Okay, we got that motion on the floor. I second. We've got a second. Any other discussion? Yeah, let's do a roll call on that motion. John Bay? Yes. Bill Foster? Yes. Pretty Green? No, I like number two. Kathy Holt? No. Kenny Morgan? Yes. And I'll, I'll go back. I like number two because I think it shouldn't be. You what know, do you think? Well, if you don't get be called mind. in quick, then you know, 26 miles ahead of Grayson Park or Hartford is a long way. So, I mean, if, I think maybe 10 miles at the most, you know, not no, I don't know how far it is up there, you know, 26 miles or something to the top of it. Well, if you're good, yeah. Yeah. the town is 27 miles. You know, no or, or uh, use the valley, you're still talking. Yeah, that's a lot of business. Yeah. Well, you can put miles in the ass. That's fine. We used to have to live with five miles. Yeah. I think going forward, change will stay a long time. It doesn't matter. They can, the next council can deal with Well, if it ever becomes an issue about Snowbird, they can deal with it. Well, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. We can say it. But I'm not like that's whole time. That's a good county. discussion. I just. As long as they're here in Cobb County, right. I'm answering. Well, you know, in the future, there could be a good candidate up in Cosby. 
you know, and you, if you set the limit of miles, you know, you've got an established person there, maybe with a family and yeah. kids going to school, and, and then you're requiring them to move after they've been there for 10 or 15 years, just a possibility, so. But we've uh, had a motion and second, and the vote passed three to two. Which carries. Which carries. And, of course, that is to be uh, part of a deal that will go to legislature in January. Uh, okay. I would ask to do, would the other council members like to change their vote if they can? If they want to. I mean, just as they a unanimous, I mean, I, I, and I'm not opposed to it. I just think that it looks better for you united in what we're doing. Well, it really doesn't matter to me because the next council, they're going to decide. They can well, change all of it. It's going to it come is. back. I mean, I just leave it on there and let, let them decide. Three of us are going to send it down there. Yeah. Four, when he comes back, the new council, whatever, four of them go approve and send it back. Does either of you want to change? I, I, I just put that. I'm just asking. I, just it, it, it wasn't, I, I think you're opposed. I think you just said Yeah, and I, that's, and I still do. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not opposed to it. I'm opposed to it. Uh, but you're staying with no. Yeah. Okay. I just, what's the rush? The rush it's got to be in for charge. The legislation is my opinion. I hope we're going to add more to it than just that. I, I think we discussed. I think we discussed it. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be more discussion on different items, but this was two that was at the workshop we discussed to put on the agenda. Uh, there's a pay deal situation there also on that item. Anybody? My motion is to let the mayor negotiate, just like we always have, uh, within the bounds of what the pay range is. That's what you are With to James do. as it, as interim at this point in time? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Is everybody That's okay with that? Can we well, keep in mind, we give Scott a, pay, a fee for his car expense. James is in his own personal uh, city vehicle. I think mean, that ought to be taken into consideration. We will, me and him will have a sit down. <coughs> I'll put together something and bring it to council to look at. Is that okay? That's fine with me. That's, That's the way it's supposed to work. Okay, item G is discussion of county resident to the Newport Utility Board. Mayor, I asked for that to be on our thing. I may not have been. At this point, uh, I, I'm not content with them leaving us out of the discussion to basically not fund chamber and tourism and a few other things. That we're not in that discussion yet. We're looking to do this. With so I would like to postpone this until a later date. On course. the NUB? Yes. I, I, won't, I think the council should have the opportunity to discuss with them because we're, we signed the same agreement to fund this. And if, if they go out and cut their funding and James sends a check up to the partnership, then we're funding the thing by ourselves. I, that discussion we had the other night at the workshop. Yeah, they voted last night. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. But they're talking about us having a discussion piece in it as far as having a say so and how it works, the model. Uh, the next council should have that liberty to have that discussion. And it's not that I, I think we should not do it. It's just uh, they didn't come to us and bring this to our attention until it was already through committee and then they voted on it last night. What does one have to do with the other? They didn't include us in the discussion at all. There won't representation on another vote. I'm not for that at all. Not for putting somebody on the board? No. Well, I, I'm for tabling. If that takes a motion, I'll make a motion to table. We've got a motion to table item G concerning county resident on the NUB board. Do we have a second? Anytime you table something, does it take more votes? It does. It would require four votes to bring it up at the next meeting. 
We got a, do we have a second? I'll take it. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear now. Item 8, there's one item under consent agenda. A roadblock, East Tennessee Baptist Association, September the 20th, 2014. We have a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed yes. is no. I hear none. Under bids and purchases, item A is consideration of salt bids. Jerry Mayor, if y'all have any questions about that, that's a process. That's what we have to go through every year to get our kid lined up for our salt. Last year we ran out of salt, and so you got to get into the process early to make sure you get your orders in and be prepared. Hopefully, we won't have another winter like we did last year. It was it was unusual and uh, the severity of how the winter was. So hopefully this year won't be as bad. But we you got to get an early jump to get your salt. Did we have trouble with one of these companies, Ben? Getting the salt to us? No. Not, not this year we did. Sure. Which one do you recommend? North American? Yeah. The, the lowest bid? Yes. Yeah. 9770 a ton? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Ben's recommendation. I'll make it most. Got a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. John Bunn? Yes. Ray Gray? Yes. 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 Uh, item B, that was an add-on that we've already approved to amend the agenda. Consideration of bids for towing and storage of vehicles seized by the Newport Police Department. Okay. There are four Richter services on our rotation that are approved by the Highway Patrol to meet all of their standards. We sent each of those towing services a letter requesting that they bid on what they would charge us for impounded vehicles that we impound. Uh, three responded. One uh, business, I believe, is going to be going out of business and opted to not bid. Uh, we opened those bids on the bid deadline, and the bid that came in lowest was Evans Towing. And that would be my recommendation, just to go with the lowest bid. I'll make a motion to go with the lowest bid. Evans Towing. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. John Bud? Yes. Rick Gregg? Yes. Kenny Holt? Yeah. Kenny Morgan? Yes. Bill Foster? Yes. Comments from citizens? John, you got your watch? I'm not going to be five minutes. Okay. Um, I just come to ask a question whether uh, James... Um, our current interim city administrator has notified council or the mayor that the budget for that they sent into the comptroller's office had been red flagged. My knowledge, I don't know of a red flag. What are you talking about? There was an issue with the budget that was that was sent in. I'm not aware of the issue with the budget. There's an issue. You know, I don't know of it. It was red twice. There was public notification and it was sent in. And you've not got notification from the comptroller's office? The currently And he didn't make any comments on your budget about your expenditures, outweigh your revenue. There was one comment on the budget approval letter that that had to do with the newport utility. And I think that regards to the water treatment. And they were already aware of it. I did forward that letter off to the union chair there. And she said they were already in the process of making the adjustments for that. Because there are special rules for the water treatment. 
And that's the only problem they found with your budget. That's all I need to ask. Roger. I won't take but a minute. Uh, at the July meeting, uh, Mr. Mayor, you said that you would put on the August agenda the uh, to consider the removal of Glenn Ray uh, and uh, bring that up to a vote before the uh, council. And it's not on the agenda for uh, this meeting. And I just wondered why. Uh, we addressed that, Mr. Griffin, at the workshop yes. last Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, and at that time, I read a provision out of their charter that specifically stated that this board had no power to make any control over the Newport Utilities Board. But that's not the only applicable part of the charter regarding this particular question. And based upon that reading of the charter, the council at that time specifically stated they did not wish it to be on tonight's agenda. They what? It takes a consent of the council at a workshop for something to be on the agenda. At Is that correct? One, at least one person generally would need to have it put on the agenda. There was no one there who indicated they wanted it on the agenda, to my recollection. And if we have no power by the charter? That's not, I think that's a very narrow reading of one particular section of the uh, particular charter. That was information provided to us by Terry Turner. And it would be my opinion that this council would have no authority or power to make any any decision they made, any vote they took, would have no effect on the Newport Utilities Board. Well, Terry, are you saying that this, uh, the City Council could not remove someone from the board? Board members can be removed from any board uh, or council for cause, uh, but this board could not, by a vote, just because they didn't like the way a person voted on... All that have to do, though, was state a reason, though. Is that no, correct? No, they'd have to be cause. And, and there are legal causes to be removed from any board or any uh, public uh, position. Well, I, th I still think that's because, a very narrow interpretation of the because this chart. board doesn't like the way a particular board voted, or a particular member voted would not give them the authority to remove that person from that board. Well, but that they could remove them though. So they do have authority over that board. Well, if you have authority to remove somebody from a board, you have official, authority over it. Any public official can be removed from office for cause. Mm -hmm. So Surely, this board does have Surely authority they over have that to particular. Be guilty of a crime, have to be convicted of a crime. They have to be found guilty of malfeasance. To be removed from council, from, from, from the utility, they have to be guilty of a crime or malfeasance. That, those are two, two very serious charges that would have to be brought. Against those and that's the only two reasons that y'all could remove someone? No, there are other reasons. There is a specific uh, state statute that, re that sits out the reasons. Yeah, well, I think that's a very narrow interpretation yeah. of the charter. That's what the law is. I don't think so. Any other public comments? Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Got a second? Yes. Anybody opposed? <laughs>